Does a ketogenic diet benefit depressive symptoms and could it be related specifically to the ketones? A new study suggests that may be the case, but let's dig a little bit deeper. I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and this study titled Depressive Symptoms Improve Over Two Years of Type 2 Diabetes Treatment via Digital Continuous Remote Care Intervention Focused on Carbohydrate Restriction. It was published in the journal Behavioral Medicine, and this is from Dr. Hallberg and her colleagues at Verta Health, where they did their um, their main study, which we've covered many of their their findings with, you know, decreased body weight and improved hemoglobin A1C for their continuous care intervention using the ketogenic diet and their app uh, to help people along their weight loss and diabetes uh, reversal and remission journeys. Um, so we've talked about a lot of those. So this is a secondary analysis of that data, looking specifically at depression and how dep- depression changes. Now we have a number of different guides at dietdoctor.com, educational guides, talking about the connection between um, eating low carb, being in ketosis, and effects on the brain, whether it's from mental health disorders or for neurological conditions. So it seems pretty clear ketones have um, some sort of a beneficial effect for many people on neurologic function, on brain function, on mental health symptoms. So is this one more study that, that lends to that? Yeah, it certainly possibly could be. So here's what they did. First, the paper does a good job in the introduction talking about the the connection between depression and type two, type 2 diabetes. I mean, it, it's clear that um, people with diabetes have a higher incidence of depression. Now, cause and effect, but you can certainly see how that could be the case. I mean, if, if you're told or believe that you have a chronic condition that's really never gonna go away and you have to check your blood sugars and have to think about what you eat and your medications and you're afraid of what happens in the future because you've seen others with diabetes have such terrible complications, you can see why it could be associated with depression. Absolutely, uh, that, that makes a lot of sense. So what they looked at was, Oh, as people are going through their program, um, do their depression scores improve? So they take a you know a questionnaire, they fill out their depression um, symptoms, and it's scored, and then they follow it out over time. And what they found was absolutely within the first at, at the ten week mark, the depression scores decreased significantly. Now here's what's interesting: from the ten week to the two year mark, they stayed stable. So there was a big change initially in the first ten weeks, and then it was stable out to two years. Um, it looked like, you know, by the curve, it was starting to come up a little bit, but statistically, it was still absolutely the same at two years, which is a really interesting finding. Then they said, okay, let's crunch all the different variables statistically and see what correlated most with those changes. And the one thing that came out was the beta hydroxybutyrate level, the level of ketones correlated most. Now, this does not prove that the ketones um, reduced the depressive symptoms, right? It's a, it's a statistical correlation. It could have been also a measure of compliance with the diet, a measure of success. Um, you know, the psychological benefits that come with succeeding and knowing that you're doing something right and sticking to your goals, those could all play into it. But, but the, from a statistical standpoint, it looked like it was correlated to the beta hydroxybutyrate level, which is very interesting because, as I said in the intro, there are other studies and other evidence to show or suggest that that the ketone bodies have a specific effect on neurologic function and on mental health. Which really brings us to sort of the broader um, topic of how does nutrition affect mental health? And there have been studies looking at you know a healthy Mediterranean diet versus a standard American diet helping. Um, depression symptoms. There have been studies looking at exercise and how that affects depression symptoms. So it's it's clear it's not just you have depression, here's your pill, right? And which is unfortunately what what so many default to nowadays. But it's clear that lifestyle interventions have a role for treating depression, um, at least moderate depression or mild depression. For severe depression, that, that might be a different story where you need medications or other therapies plus the lifestyle. And that's the key, plus the lifestyle. Um, But I think it it does open up this broader uh, perspective that that lifestyle should be a first-line intervention for moderate and mild symptoms of depression. And a low-carb diet, a ketogenic diet, producing measurable ketones is certainly an option. Now, we need randomized controlled trials of this diet versus others to show that it's better or equivalent. Um, Those don't exist. But certainly from a non-randomized trial 
or you know a secondary analysis of of, a, of the trial, it certainly seems um, it certainly seems encouraging that this is one option. So if you're a provider caring for people with mental health disorders, or if you or a loved one have some mental health issues that you're wondering if a low carb or ketogenic diet could be beneficial, I direct you to dietdoctor.com to our mental health guides. Um, to see if that might work for you. And so bring, definitely bring it up with your clinician. If you are a clinician, have it as a tool that you can use and know that it can be effective in the right, uh, in the right circumstances. Uh, so anyway, this was an interesting study that I just wanted to bring up and kind of put it in perspective of the broader picture of nutritional interventions, uh, for depression. So if that was helpful, please click the thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on Diet Doctor News on YouTube. Thanks a lot, everybody.